Hi, my name is Bintu and today I am going to teach you how to convert a decimal number into binary. Whatever computer course you are doing, whether it is MCA, B computers or BCA, whatever, if it is a C subject or data structure subject, definitely you will come across a question to convert a decimal number into binary or convert a decimal number into octal or into hexa. So this is a very common question that has been asked. For converting a decimal number into binary, you will be requiring a structure called stack. I hope you have seen my earlier videos of the benefits of stacks in a computer subject uh, or how to implement a stack using array. If you haven't seen my earlier videos, please go through these links and have a view to them. I think after viewing those videos, you will be able to understand this program very nicely. Anyway, we will start understanding this program. I am defining a macro max of value 10 because I understand that the number that the user will enter won't be having the binary number of more than 10 digits. You can make it 15 or whatever if you hope that the user might be entering a very large integer number. right? So after that, I am defining a global variable top and initializing it to minus 1. While dealing with the stack, we need an element which is known as top. Top is initially minus 1. While adding elements to the stack, the value of top is incremented after every addition. The process of adding values to stack is called push and the process of taking out anything from the stack is known as pop. We'll see to it, right? So I'm defining one array called stack of length uh, 10. So this stack array is of size 10. User will be asked to enter a number in decimal. Suppose user enters 13. You divide uh, 13 by 2. This is the quotient 6, 2, 6 are 12 and the remainder is 1. This remainder 1 is pushed to stack. Initially the value of uh, the top is minus 1 while pushing the value of top is incremented by 1 and the remainder this 1 is pushed at the location where the top is pointing. The value of top has become 0. So at stack 0th location this 1 remainder will be pushed. After that this, this quotient 6 is again divided by 6. 2, 3 is a 6 remainder is 0. Again this remainder 0 is pushed to stack. Before pushing, the value of top is incremented by 1. The value of top was 0, it will become 1. At stack 1th location, this remainder 0 is pushed. After that, this quotient is again, this 3 is again divided by 2. 2 ones are 2, the remainder is 1. This 1 is again pushed to stack. The value of top was 1, is it is incremented to 2. At stack 2 location, this remainder 1 is stored. After that, the control will come over here. This 1 is divided by 2. It is not divisible. Then this whole number is pushed to stack. Again, the value of top is incremented to 3. At stack 3 location, this 1, the, that last remainder is stored. This 1 is stored. After that, once the whole number is exhausted, this stack is emptied out. That is, the elements in the stack are popped one by one. Stack is a LIFO structure last in first out that means the last value that was pushed is popped first so this one will be popped out this one will come over here after that this one will be popped off one while pushing the value of top is incremented while popping the value of top is decremented after every pop for example this one is popped off the value of top was three it will become two it will be pointing at stack two location it is popped off this one will come out the value of top will be decremented to one top will be pointed to this location, this value, this 0 is popped off, the value of top will be decremented to 0, this 1 is popped off, then the value of top is decremented to minus 1, the moment value of top becomes minus 1, the program exits. So this is how it is done. So let's understand it through a program. The, suppose the user has entered 13, this 13 is assigned to a temporary variable temp. This value will execute for the time, 13 is more than 0. Is 13 more than 0? Yes. 13 is divided by 2. This is mod operator. This divides the number and the remainder is assigned to the variable on the left. 13 divided by 2. The, it is divided by 6. The remainder is 1. 1 is assigned to remainder. Variable push function. You are calling the push function which is written on the next page. But I have written it here for your reference. You are calling push function and the value remainder 1 is taken along with it. This 1 will be assigned to m. The value of top is incremented by 1. Top is minus 1. By incrementing the value of top, it will become 0. 
at stack 0th location this m that is 1 is stored so this 1 is stored at stack 0 location after that this 13 is divided by 2 see both the numbers are integers so the answer will also be a integer only when 13 is divided by 2 the answer is 6.5 but it will be truncated to an integer value so the 6 is assigned to this number variable again the loop will execute is 6 greater than 0 yes again 6 is divided by 2 and the remainder is assigned to remainder when 6 is divided by 2 the remainder is 0 that is assigned to remainder variable you are calling push function control will come here and the remainder that is the value 0 is assigned to this variable m the value of top is incremented by 1 the top was 0 it will be incremented to 1 at stack 1th location this m is assigned that is 0 is assigned control will come over here 6 is divided by 2 the answer is 3 the 3 is assigned to num variable control will come over here is 3 greater than 0 yes 3 is divided by 2 and the remainder is assigned to the remainder variable so the remainder variable will get the value 1 push function is called and, and this 1 is assigned to this parameter m top is incremented by 1 top is 1 it is incremented to 2 so at stack 2 location this 1 is assigned right this 1 is assigned over here number is 3 3 is divided by 2 the result is 1.5 but because both are integers the answer will be truncated to 1 the num will be assigned value 1 control will come over here is 1 greater than 0 yes divide 1 by 2 it is not divisible then the whole number will be assigned to the remainder variable push function is called and this 1 will be assigned to this parameter m the value of top is incremented the value of top was 2 it will be incremented to 3 at stack third location this 1 is assigned thereafter the control will come over here 1 is divided by 2 the result is 0 0.5 it will be truncated to 0 number will be assigned value 0 control will come over here is 0 greater than 0 no so this while loop will terminate control will come over here on the screen you will get a message the binary conversion of 13 is that is why the number 13 was assigned to temp variable control will come over here while the top is greater than 0 run this loop so what was the value of top that was 3 is 3 greater than 0 yes call the pop function right the control will come over here is top uh, equal to minus 1 no the top is 3 control will come here the element at stack 3 location is popped off and assigned to j so this 1 is assigned to j the value of top is decremented to 2 return j so this this one will go and will be displayed over here 1 so you'll get the 1 on the screen this one will be displayed on the screen control will come over here right is top greater than 0 yes top is 2 again call the pop function control will come here is 2 equal to minus 1 no extract the value at stack 2 location stack 2 location is 1 that is assigned to j the value of top is decremented by 1 the value of top will become 1 return j that is this 1 will go and will be displayed over here so on the screen you get 1 so 1 and 1 are displayed right after that the control will come here is top that is 1 greater than 0 yes it will come over here is 1 equal to minus 1 no take out the value where stack 1 is pointing stack 1 is pointing at 0 so j will get the value 0 the value of top is decremented to 0 return j so this 0 will go and will be displayed over here so you get 0 on the screen again is top that is 0 greater than equal to 0 yes control will come here over here is 0 equal to minus 1 no take out the value where the stack 0 is stack 0 is pointing at value 1 so this 1 is assigned to j the value of top is decremented to minus 1 this 1 will return back to the main function and will be displayed on the screen so 1 will be displayed is top greater than 0 no top has become minus 1 so the program will exit so this is how this program is working let's run this program and see whether it is working properly i've written this program in c language so i'm using this kigwin tool for running c programs kigwin is a tool that gets you the unix environment in windows i've already written a program for you see this is the program that i've already written for you and this is what we understood right now let's run this program and see if it is working well i'm using gcc compiler for compiling this program see it is compiled no no error at all let's run this 
थ्री एंटर नंबर सपोज आई एंटर थर्टीन द बाइनरी नंबर ऑफ थर्टीन इज वन वन जीरो वन प्लस रन दिस रन अगेन टू बाइनरी प्लस एंटर सम बिग नंबर से दिस वन दिस इज द बाइनरी कन्वर्जन ऑफ थ्री टू एट नाइन सो दिस प्रोग्राम इज वर्किंग परफेक्टली वेल also if you want to confirm whether this answer is perfectly correct or not what you can do that you can convert this binary into decimal uh, convert a binary into decimal what you do you write all the digits after one after the other say this one is written here one is after written here again if a zero is written over here and the one is written here right with every digit you write 2 2 2 and 2 and with every 2 you increment the exponent the power from 0 and uh, increment by 1 so this 2 is to the power 0 This two is to power one, two is to power two, or two is to power three. You are multiplying every number with the two to the power or to the exponent zero. The exponent is incremented by one every time. One into two to the power zero. Anything to the power zero is one. One into one is one. Two to the power one is two. Two into zero is zero. Two to the power two is four. Four into one is four. Two to the power three is eight. Eight into one is eight. And then after you add them, eight plus four plus zero plus one is thirteen. So this binary conversion of thirteen is perfectly right. If you find any problem, you can mail me at bmharvani@yahoo.com. You can even mail me for the code of this program. Thanks for watching the video. Have a nice day.